rainbows and welcome to another episode of the royal family i hope you guys are ready for a very dramatic episode because it's definitely gonna be a big one i've been planning this episode for a while and honestly absolutely dreading it because i'm scared i'm scared to see what's gonna happen so as i mentioned in the last episode harmony she passed away and her daughter charlotte is ready for some revenge so that is what she has come to do is get revenge on the oasis springs family but before we begin i just want to let you guys know that the coronation and animation is out. It's published on Fandom Angel's Tumblr, so I'm gonna link that information in the description below so you guys can go download that. But yeah, we're gonna be focusing on the Oasis Springs family, especially in this episode. And then depending on how things go, we'll do some other things in this episode as well. For this episode specifically, I have downloaded the, I think it's called the More Realistic Fire Mod, something like that. Something more realistic to make the fire spread. I also have a More Realistic Death Mod, just in case. All right, so we are at the Oasis Springs Palace, and as you guys saw, Arya, she's outside because Gabriel was over, they were hanging out, he was about to leave to go home, and they were talking out here before they heard everything going on. So I'm just gonna explain, I have it on pause, I'm gonna explain things first, and then we're just gonna see what happens. But basically, Charlotte, she had, oh my god, okay, so here's the fire going on right now. But Charlotte had snuck in, I imagine that she had, like, locked all the windows from the outside so no one could get out, no one could escape, and then she bolted everyone into the rooms, like, locked the rooms from the outside so no one could get out of the rooms either. She probably also bolted did Arya's bedroom door shut, but she didn't know that she wasn't inside. So Gabriel has come up here and unlocked all the doors, let everyone out of their rooms. So Gabriel has just let Naya and Philip out of the rooms, unlock their door. Oh my god, the fire is spreading so fast. Okay, kids need to go. Okay, Gabriel's trying to put out the fire. Oh my god, it's like spreading. Okay, the kids need to go over here. They need to get to the stairs, but the fire's about to block the stairs. Oh my gosh. Okay, he just ran through the fire. That's fine. Okay, kids go. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Please go. Get out of the way. Oh my god. Okay, they're running through the fire, but they're fine. They're okay. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. Please go downstairs. Holy crap. Oh my god. Where's Naya? Okay, Naya. Okay, Naya, go downstairs. Why are you? She just changed. That's fine. Oh my god. Oh my god. No, 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 no. Oh my god. Okay, go. Okay, stop putting out the fire. Just go downstairs at this point. Oh my god, is that Charlotte? Wait, Charlotte's on phone. Oh my god, wait, Phil, hold on. Oh my god, stop! Gabriel, please put Philip out. Please put Philip out. Oh my god, this is insane. How is Naya gonna get downstairs? Okay, Naya's walking by. No, Naya, stop! <gasps> Naya! Okay, Naya walked through. Don't go back in. Don't go back in. Oh my god, Gabriel's on fire. Hold on, wait, wait, no, Gabriel. <gasps> oh my god, Naya! Okay, Naya is downstairs with the kids. The kids are okay. The kids need to go. They all need to go outside. They need to go outside with Arya. I feel like Arya is like definitely like she called for help. And I am sure that Charlotte disabled the Oh my god. Um, but I'm sure Charlotte disabled the sprinkler system. Can you put Philip out, please? Charlotte's just here. I don't know. I guess she didn't make it out in time. Okay, Gabriel, put out Philip. Please put out Philip. Oh my god, this is insane. Okay, Philip's good. He's good. Please put the fire out. Put the fire out. You guys need to get out of here. Okay, the kids are all safe. Everybody's outside. Oh my god, but Philip and Gabriel. You guys seriously need to make a path and extinguish this so you guys can get out. Can they even? Oh my god, seriously, can they even get out of here? Okay, we need help. Where's the firefighters when we need them? Um, there's supposed to be firefighters coming with a new update, but it has not gotten the new update yet. This is like a week before the new update. Oh my god, I need firefighters. Yeah, I feel like they're the ones extinguishing everything, like trying to get to the stairs. Like, I feel like they made a path for everyone else before they got to make a path for themselves. And it doesn't help that the stairs are on fire because that's their way down. Oh my god. Okay, Charlotte's dying. <gasps> Charlotte's dying. Oh my gosh. You know what? That's fine. That's fine. I don't care. I just need Gabriel and Philip to get out of here. They already have burns. With the realistic death mod the grim reaper does not come we have to like call for someone to come get her oh my god no 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 philip philip please stop put him out 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 oh my god this fire this fire i'm so sorry if this is so stressful and dramatic i'm stressing myself out please put him out you know what can they just go if i just tell them to go downstairs will they go i think that okay gabriel's going downstairs okay philip come on let's go philip no 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 gabriel go back up Go back up and extinguish him, please. Oh my God, it's spreading to literally all of the rooms. Holy crap. I honestly feel like everyone out here is terrified. Like they're wondering why it's taking them so long to come down. Gabriel's trying to extinguish Philip. Oh my God, the entire palace is going up in flames. Gabriel's honestly just trying to save his girlfriend's father right now. Where's the, I need people to come over. I need people, we need to call people to help. Okay, they're still putting out the fire. Would they try to save her? Like, do they know she's dead? I'm honestly not sure. They're just trying to extinguish the fire for the stairs because they can't get downstairs if the fire is blocking it. Oh my god, her bed. 
Oh my god, everything. Oh, Kimmy's room. Oh my gosh. Where is everyone? Is some... <gasps> oh my god! <gasps> Did Philip just die from the fire? Oh my god, please don't tell me he died. Just, he just died from the fire. Oh my god. Oh my god, Gabriel's still trying to put it out. Gabriel, okay, you know what? Ga no, Gabriel, 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 stop. Extinguish yourself, please. Okay, Gabriel, okay, you know what? The stairs are clear. The fire has died down here. But like, I don't know. Is Gabriel gonna want to leave Philip here? I don't know. I think he's gonna want to take him. But he can't. Philip just, I'm crying. <laughs> I think... Gabriel needs to go downstairs. Oh my god. What do we do? Gabriel, you know what? At this point, you need to just go downstairs. I think he just went down. Is anybody going to help? Wait, there's people out here. We did call people to come here. Wait, they cannot get inside? Oh my god. Did she lock the gate? I forgot. Charlotte locked the gate. Charlotte locked the gate. No one can climb over. How is this ever going to end? I can't exit out of here until the freaking fire is every. It's like it's gone here. So like Gabriel could go down, but like we can not get rid of it here. And Philip! Oh, Gabriel! No, stop! Gabriel, wait! Stop! Stop, 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 stop! Gabriel, you need to run out of there. Seriously, like, can you even imagine what he's feeling right now? He's trying to save Philip, and Philip's, like, gone. And, and freaking Charlotte is here, too. So what? Like, she didn't make it out in time? I guess she, like, saw Gabriel running in, and she knew that he was gonna save them, and was like, no, and, like, came upstairs, and then just got caught in the fire. Okay, so Gabriel's out here. Oh, damn! I think he just told them what happened. Naya is freaking out. Everybody else. It's, okay, I can't do much because of the fire going on. I don't know. I think Naya's gonna try to run back inside. Because, okay, the fire's like going down so much. Okay, Gabriel and Naya are both here. I'm sure Gabriel like definitely would not want her to go up here and said like, no, you can't. And Naya was just like, my husband's up here. Like I'm going upstairs. I'm gonna have Gabriel just because it won't let us do anything unless all the fire is extinguished. Oh my God, Gabriel. No, 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 no. Extinguish self, extinguish self. Okay, he's good. We're good. Go extinguish this, please. Is that, are you able to extinguish that? Oh my God. Is it over? I think it's over. Naya is Oh my god. Oh my god, she's freaking out. She's freaking out. Oh my god. I think I need to go sit down for a second and come back and film this. Okay, I am back. I am ready to film the rest of this episode. Um, but what we do need to do is report a death. That's what comes with this mod. I'm gonna link both mods in the description below. If you want to try it, be my guest. That Deathly Fire mod is insane. Okay, yeah, so Naya's reporting a death. Okay, so the medical examiner's here. It says, greetings, I'm Dr. DeAndre. I am certified medical examiner assigned to your case. If you excuse me, I'm here to take a look at the body. I know this is a difficult time, but we need to precisely determine the cause of death and how to proceed from here. Well, the cause of death was a fire. Oh, Megan's here. She's here for her sister. All of her siblings are here for their sister. Oh my gosh, you guys. I cannot believe this. Like, you know, oh, okay. So we just put Charlotte in a body bag too. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna just leave the Oasis Springs family here because you know what? I think like, this has just spread. Like, this is breaking news. People have heard of the fire at the Oasis Springs Palace. I'm sure by now people have heard that Prince Philip has died. I think all, everyone from all the kingdoms, the monarchs are all probably gonna come here and just see if there's anything they can do. Which means, for example, I think like Amira and Jabari and like Megan and I'm sure Kellen's here too. They're gonna like call Makai and ask them if they can watch the kids because we just need to handle this right now. Okay, we're gonna go to Save and Manage Worlds. I'm sure the Oasis Springs family are gonna go stay at, there's the second Oasis Springs home or the second Oasis Springs Palace, which is actually where Prince Michael's staying right now after the divorce. So I think they're gonna go live there. I'm still keeping the same palace. Obviously, we just need to fix everything that was burned. And it's pretty much just the furniture that was burned. And obviously, it would be like the walls and the floor and stuff too. But oh my god, you guys! I cannot believe this! Okay, so Makai and Jessica, they're about to go pick up all the kids, but first he has to pick her up. So she's taking this art class at the community center in Sulani. So, the, oh god, I love Sulani. It's beautiful. This is probably one of my favorite worlds. But yeah, so Jessica's here. She just got done with her art class. So she is coming out to meet her dad. I kind of feel like she's like, because as I mentioned in the last episode, Jessica has kind of just been trying to get, Mac oh, I just realized the stairs are like in the water. So I need to change that. But she's trying to get Makai with someone because she really wants siblings. So she's like, hey, you should come meet my art teacher. So Makai's like, oh God, fine. Like, I feel like at this point he knows what she's doing. But he's like, I should probably meet her art teacher anyway. So I'm gonna have Makai do a friendly introduction to her art teacher. But Makai 
guy's saying hi to her, he's meeting her. I'll just have him talk to her a little bit and just say like, how's Jessica doing in art class? Jessica's just over here pretending, like I feel like she's pretending to be on the computer, but she's actually just watching her dad talk to her art teacher and be like, haha, yes. <laughs> also, Samaria is here. We gotta, we should probably say hi to Samaria. Ooh, uh, titillating banter. Coy smiles and flirtatious jokes have set the tone for romance. <gasps> Ooh, it's a suggestive conversation. There's no romantic relationship though. Oh wait, whoa, what? You guys are like good friends already. You've interacted like three times. Okay, well, you know what? We're gonna go to somewhere else with the kids. We're gonna pretend that he's picked them up. We're gonna take the kids somewhere because their parents, there's a crisis going on right now. So they need someone to watch the kids. I like that Makai is just the person that they call because they're probably like, my kid wants to see you again. Are you free anytime this week? Like that sort of thing. Oh, there is this um, park here, the children's tutor tree house. Let's take them there. Okay, so we're at the park with the kids, although it is snowing. So maybe this wasn't the best idea. Maybe we should have brought them back to Sulani, but we were in Sulani a lot. Also, Nani, you should change into something warm, please. Like, I feel like Jessica's okay with the snow every once in a while. She just doesn't like living in the cold. Oh my gosh, there's a fainted person next to Makai. I mean, like, understandable, but still. I would faint if I saw Makai in person too. It's fine. I feel like Jessica's talking to her dad and she's like, so how'd you like my art teacher? Her art teacher's name is Lily. And I feel like Jessica's like, I asked if she's single and she is. And Makai was like, Please stop asking people if they're single, like random women if they're single. But I also feel like maybe Makai, since they were flirting a little bit, and that's the first one that he's actually like had chemistry with. Maybe he's like, oh, she's single. Maybe I'll ask her out. Oh my gosh, Jabari's here anyway, and he's angry and tense. Makai is supposed to be here to watch the kids, and Jabari just couldn't handle the fact that Alice May and Kaleo were gonna be together. Is someone in there? Oh, it's a cat or a dog. I, it's a, it's one of them. It's a dog. Okay, that's fine. Oh, it has a present. Wait, Jessica, come pick this up. A random dog here has brought a present. That's random, okay. Actually, you know what? Makai should go talk to Jabari. I think that things are maybe just like slightly awkward between Makai and Jabari, but I mean, Jabari's daughter and now Makai's daughter are really good friends. So they kind of got to get used to it. They're both really friendly. Jabari's so, they're both such great guys. They're both so sweet. Makai's over Amira now, so it's really not that big of a deal for him. I also don't think Jabari really has anything against Makai because like Amira was the one. Oh my God, Papa no, go away. But Amira was the one who had kissed him before. And Jabari and Amira have worked it out. They're over it. He understands it was just Amira's moment of weakness sort of thing. He doesn't really know that Makai admitted his feelings to Amira afterward, but I don't think it matters at this point. I mean, Makai is over it, so it's fine. Also, woman, please go away. Oh gosh, yeah, we just needed this little happiness. I think we are going to go do Philip's funeral though too. But I just wanted to just see the kids do something distracting while preparations for Philip's funeral funeral was being made. But yeah, all the kids are really cute, so it's fine. Okay, but yeah, let, let's go. Let's go have Philip's funeral now. Okay, so we're now having the funeral for Philip. Pretend as many people here are in black. I got as many people in black as I could, so pretend that they are in black. We have so many people coming here to pay their respects. We have Makana here. Makana heard what happened to Kimberly's dad, and he's here. I'm sure he, you know, I'm. I need the. I need him to come support her. But I mean, like, he's still going through his treatments and stuff. I feel like, like, maybe he's just noticed like a tiny, tiny bit of difference in his energy and stuff. I kind of feel like Makana was thinking anyway, like him and Kimmy really miss each other. They kind of like, you know, missed each other enough to hook up a little bit. So that happened in the last episode. Oh, and I had Gabriel in the household just because of the whole fire thing. So, I mean, he's not living with them. He's living with his own family, but just, yeah, I'll, I'll move him into his own family later. Yeah, but after what happened with Kimmy and Makana in the last episode, I don't know. I think Makana's whole thing, like he would, I think he would really love to get back together with Kimmy. And like, yes, he needs to work on himself, but I think the whole thing is he doesn't want to burden her. And like Kimmy has said, like you can talk to me about anything, you know that. And he was like, yeah, but I think what Kimmy really needs to do is like, I'm here for you. You're not burdening me at all if you talk to me. Like, I think that's kind of what Makana needs to hear from Kimmy. So they're sitting and talking here, but you know what? I actually might have their conversation in the next episode. And then Naya is so sad though. So yeah, we're, I mean, we're gonna see in the next episode, we're gonna check up on the Oasis Springs Royal Family. I don't usually have a funeral for the Sim in the same episode, but I just wanted to have this memorial service for Philip. It's gonna be so interesting to see how they all deal with this. 
this, like Naya and the kids and everyone. We're gonna see what Kimmy Makana has talked about in the next episode. And I think Makana needs to realize that he's not burdening Kimmy and that Kimmy's there for him if he's going through something. If she's gonna be with him the rest of his life, they're gonna go through issues and he cannot do this every time he's feeling down. Like it's good that he's working on himself, but he's already figured stuff out, you know? So yeah, we'll we'll see them and what they talked about in the next episode too. And then everyone's paying their respects to Philip and Naya and the Oasis Springs royal family. They're all here to make sure they're okay and to be here to support them. I think I saw Araminta and Han, they're here as well. They're getting married in the next episode. It's winter now. It's not snowing because it's Oasis Springs and it's warm. But in the next episode, it will be Han and Araminta's wedding along with a ton of other stuff too. Yeah, I think that's Han right there. There's Han, he's here. He's cute. He's not blushing right now because Araminta's not around him, but she's here somewhere too. But yeah, all right guys, we're gonna end this episode here. I know this was a really sad one. We've lost Prince Philip, which is so sad. I feel so bad for Naya and the kids. But on the bright side, Harmony and Charlotte are both gone. But of course it was at the cost of Philip, so that is really sad. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know how you think the Oasis Springs family is gonna deal with this. Let me know your thoughts on everyone else, of Kimmy and Makana, of Makai and Jessica and the kids. But yeah, if you enjoyed this video, <laughs> if this video was still entertaining and dramatic for you, hit that like button. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.